How's it going people? Steve here with uh, another video for you, but this one's more of a sneak preview of what we've got coming up in hopefully the next couple of weeks. It's something that we've been thinking about doing for a while and the reason why we've started to well work on it now is if people forget what Kim's claims have been in the past. We say that they're all lies, but I know most people that have just discovered Kim, they think, of course, that they're just claims. And of course, you don't know at this time that they're all lies. She's not really said much without providing any proof. So what we wanted to do is create a few episodes for you, go through her claims, show you any evidence if there is any that she's provided. And of course, we'll comment on that evidence and show you the evidence that we've got. But quite a lot of this, uh, these claims that she's made, there's been no evidence. And what we wanted to do is to remind you um, how ridiculous some of these claims sound. Now, don't get us wrong, we're also from the truth movement. We believe in many things that other people will call us conspiracy theorists, things like that. But um, we've learned our lessons a lot of the time now. We, you know, we come across new old media groups and people and we will listen, maybe take bits from it and say, yeah, okay, I can live with that. And other bits, no. But with Kim, because we've known her for a while, some of us since she was in Cosmic Voice, which is back in 2016, where she pretended to be Christy Adams. So we've known her since then. And of course, we know her now. And as time's gone on, it's unfolded, unraveled her lies and some of them are the most ridiculous and you know we can't even believe we believed some of them right at the beginning I feel a little bit ashamed to be <laughs> to be honest but anyway so this is a sneak preview and the reason why i'm doing this video now it says there's a bit more time on the other one so we just get straight into the video on the on those next episodes when we start doing it so let's have a look at some of the claims that she's made there's a hell of a lot i mean there's probably a lot more to add to this so here's a few. So Kim executed Marduk. <laughs> yeah, Marduk, the uh, 14 foot white royal Draco. She, uh, we won't go into too much details, but apparently she cut off his head and ripped out his heart. The um, UPU alien protect, the aliens protecting the earth. So the UPU is the universal protection unit not Universal Postal Union, like some people thought. Um, but these are a group of aliens that are apparently outside our uh, atmosphere, and they're basically out there in space, keeping an eye on us, making sure we're not getting invaded by other aliens. Now, remember, this is only coming from Kim. No one else has ever mentioned UPU aliens. And they there was a show that with Thomas Williams, where they, Kim was on there, pretending to be someone, well, she called herself Kay, and there was three, two other ladies on there, Ava Cowan and Megan Martinez, who classed themselves as psychics, but they was on there, and they said there was a load of aliens on there, pretending, well, aliens that were talking, and the two ladies were interpreting it. But, of course, we know now, that Ava Cowan was doing the alien voices for it. So that was that one. Then, of course, there was the Queen of Draco. So with Kim taking out Marduk, M, as she calls, left um, like a vacuum of power. And uh, apparently there was the Queen of Draco, who's supposed to be his sibling, his sister existed and she was here one minute to come and kick ass but then Kim said no she's here to help us out and then Thomas Williams said she got taken out 
some of someone or some aliens killed her and Etta and Kim said no it's like bullshit so they all of course Thomas Williams and Kim are no longer friends so they're always going to be against each other Universal Council and this is a good one where Kim pretended well Kim says that she's part of a council a bit like you would call the UN but for um, extraterrestrials and all beings throughout the galaxy so she's our um, representative for that diplomat. And um, so she claims she goes sits in these councils. Well, we know that with proof, she doesn't sit in anything. She just, apart from sitting in an armchair on her own, closing her eyes, that's her version of sitting in a council. And we've got some proof of that. Uh, peace treaty okay so there was a peace trip in part of this upu show kim produced a kangaroo skin and on there she wrote the well there was a map it like a map and on there was some writing and it seemed to be some um some writing from some indigenous indigenous tribes going back well when draco first came here apparently it's a peace treaty and we've debunked it and found out this was actually nothing more than Aborigine um, kangaroo skin about territories. So we've got proof on that. Then Kim cleared the bunkers full of gold, gems and technology assets. So she clears, she cleared all these bunkers out. So where's, where is all these gold? Where's all the gems? Why aren't she using the gold and the gems and the technologies for us today? Instead of taking your money to pay for crappy TV illegal crappy tv and some tacky shit products that she sells on her unn website then of course she come out with the kim's healing and advanced technology so she's got these healing technologies med beds and things like that so where are they then kim how come if you've got these med beds why were you um getting people that of claiming to have healing machines why are you following them why not why not release these technologies that you had uh then we had kim claiming she was in possession of the third nuclear missile code so she's basically said there'll never be a nuclear war because she own, she's the only person that's got the third nuclear missile code there you go so they can't launch any missiles so we're safe again kim's the hero the savior no proof of that either. Um, oh yeah, the only proof she had of, like I said, of the um, out of all those that we've just seen above so far is a kangaroo skin. Like I said, it was a some of photoshopped from um, an Aborigine tribe about territories. So so far we've not seen any proof apart from that. Next lot, uh, Kim and Thomas J Melville have got majestic level security clearance. So this is like top top level security clearance it's basically um same as what thomas williams had and when they fell out she removed these majestic clearance and of course while he had majestic clearance thomas williams he did a show uh, and presented some ultra secret documents on roswell well we know for a fact that back in 2017 because we've seen um, on the website Linda Martin Howe and Heather Wade had them on a website exactly the same this was like two years before Thomas Williams had them so is that what Majestic is you just showed, showed documents that were pro, pro, uh, being provided by other old media people see this is where we go they, they show you some documents that someone else has already shown years before so how great is that? What about you show us some documents that are around for today? Not going back decades. Then of course we had the last battle. We were told that when um, Tank was took over from Thomas Williams, he basically said that, and Kim told him that there was the last battle and the Cabal had been defeated. Well, we ain't seen no proof of that today, have we? For what we're going through. Next one was this hierarchy type structure, um, massive chart. 
apparently a five foot chart that showed all the power levels. This is apparently, apparently decades old, or even hundreds of years old. I don't know <laughs> what this year was paid for. You couldn't really be that clear. All we know is got a, a circular genealogy chart and it's just a load of charts put together. There's no proof of this being anywhere near um, a structure. Why would you use a genealogy chart like a family tree? And you can get them, you can make them up yourself. And the fact that it's five foot long, on a bit of, anyone can go over to most printing shops and say you want something printed off and it could be 20 foot long because of the paper and the printers they've got today. It doesn't matter what size you want, you can print them off. Anyway, I won't go into more than that. It'll spoil it. And of course, we've got the trust, the Sovereign Manor, Manor World Holding Trust. No proof of funds that you've got with that. Then you've got Kim took out Ninja Assassins. That was another one. While Thomas Williams was her spokesperson for Kim, he said that she, uh, I don't know, was it, I can't remember the figures, between 60 and 90 ninjas try to assassinate her and they all got wiped out <laughs> there you go um next one kim has meetings with world leaders does she okay so how does she do that then sitting in a chair closing her eyes as well maybe again no proof of any of these apart so far out of a whole of that list all we've got is we've got a kangaroo skin we've got a, a copied family tree chart and now we've got um oh what was the other one oh um ultra top secret documents that was already posted by someone else not doing too great are you kim let's go on to the next lot quantum computer okay so where's the quantum computer then kim this super duper computer thingy that maps the whole of DNA on every planet, it knows everything that's going on, but can't really tell who the real identities are of Team Mama or able to shut down our own puny little laptops. Now, you think about it, you've got a quantum computer, you can do anything, surely. So there's no proof of that. And of course, quantum computers, if it's a D wave or whatever, they're massive. It needs data center, it needs costs, it needs everything. I know she says, oh, it's multi-dimensional and it was all, it was in, uh, created by the, um, some aliens, I don't know what they were, but she said that the, uh, the greys are the ones that are the mathematicians that keep it running. Hmm. Okay, where's the proof? Again, more bullshit. Then of course, Kim declares a declaration of her, uh, DNA be 99% match of the original female known as Eve. Okay. So how are you going to prove that then, Kim? You're going to go on your, um, get, get someone to take some of your blood. Maybe that would be a good idea. Maybe you can prove it through that way. Probably not. Um, and of course we've heard rumors that she's also got some kind of past DNA match with Marduk, <laughs> I've heard it all now. So the Kim's banking and security system. So we've gone through this before. Is it the key integrated monetary system? And then she's got the key intelligence mon. Again, she's made up that um, she's made these banking systems and security systems herself. So she creates all intelligence in the world, creates all the banking in the world, but she can't get a dime out of it. I mean, what's the point? What's the point of having a computer, quantum computer, if you can't even get a dime out of it? Again, bullshit. Funding for humanitarian projects around the world. Life force. Hmm. Okay, so how many people can hold their hands up and say they've received project funding from life force? I ain't talking about a couple hundred bucks. We're talking about something that's going to make a difference in the world. Come on, we're talking thousands, a hundred thousand, a million bucks. Who's got it? Zilch, I bet you. Where's the proof? And if anyone's listening to this, that is part of Life Force, and you're totally, you know, you want to, you, you want to, you know, bring some proof forward, and please do. We'll be more than happy to share it with everyone. 
So there you go, you've got our contact information. So bring it forward. Um, okay, so these are good ones. So now Kim's got criminal evidence on the core Team Bubba members and who Team Bubba are. Come on in, so what's the criminal evidence then? We've heard all the rumors, what you've been calling us. We're still here. No one's, no one's taken us out, no one's arrested us. If you've got proof and you say, well, we're untouchable because we're protected, but then put the evidence out on your TV channel that what Team Bubba have done. Come on, put it out on there. Put the proof out. Name us all. And you seem to think that we work for, we're, play, we're paid Blackwater assets. We're former FBI or um, CI assets. And the Democrats are basically controlling us. Is that is that true? No, no proof. Again, there's no proof. So come on. Come on, Kim. Now's your chance. Come forward and give us some evidence. Right, so here's some questions for Kim's followers and those that are probably more sitting on the fence. So have you seen any evidence at all from Kim? Or from Tank or Thomas Williams, evidence about her being who she is. Have you seen any evidence apart from what I've just mentioned? And we will debunk that. If you have, bring it on. Is it all hearsay? It sounds like to me, if you believe what Kim's saying, then you believe in Father Christmas stories as well and the Tooth Fairy. It's exactly the same thing. It's all hearsay. Unless you've got proof or you've seen it. Or you've been there. It's it's the good old Father Christmas <laughs> Tooth Fairy story. You believe in all that still? Probably not. Life Force Communities. Come on, what funding have you received? Like I said, not 25 bucks to get fuel, some gas from A to B. We're talking funding. Life Force is about changing the world. We want to see funding, proof of funding. We know you haven't because we've had tons of emails and messages about not having funding. Is this true? People saying, is this true? We're still waiting for these come from India and all over the place. Life force assemblies. Have you got any funding yet? <laughs> and last one. So you believe anything Kim tells you, but you don't ask for any proof or evidence. It is all about proof and evidence. That's all we're going to say on this now it's a short list there's a lot more as you know you that listen to her shows we you know, we just don't have the time to listen to all of them but this is what we've accumulated over the last i don't know four years three or four years in that time it's what we've gathered and there's probably a lot more and if there's more or something that we've missed then please drop it in the comment section below we really would appreciate that. But anyway, look out for these videos. We will share with you what we've gathered over time. And, um, and most of it is from clips from our videos and bits from our Facebook channel, our group, and snippets from clips like with Thomas Williams and Kim and Chris Rice, places like that. So. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Um, so I've had to go for this now because it cuts the other videos down uh, a little bit. So the next time we put one of these videos out, we'll just go straight into it and we won't take a lot of your time. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.